You can't understand what's going on in the, in the world and evil that exists without understanding there are malevolent spiritual forces that are at work that uh, work through people. Remember in the Bible, uh, the different stories about Jesus casting out devils? Demons always want to get into people. They always want to um, manifest through people the worst kind of things. Hate, destruction, abuse, uh, murder, strife. Jesus said about the, 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 the thief, the devil, Satan, he's, he, he's been a liar from the beginning. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy perversion in every realm and sphere. It's just continually evil. And um, now the thing we got to understand about this is believers in Christ, you're given authority against demons. I've cast demons out of lots of people, set them free and, and uh, rebuke them. They can try to set up shop in businesses or even churches or your family. And if you don't know about this, then you go on being tormented and dri- that you know they can come down and pressure you with feelings and thoughts and you can pick them up they're they're operating everywhere and and they come and bother you but what you know you might say well what's a demon well if we understand from Enoch and also from Jude in the in the New Testament and a bunch of places in the Bible um actually evil spirits are the spirits of the Nephilim that died after the flood, uh, in the flood. Nephilim were the giants that were the offspring of the fallen angels and women, spoken of in the New Testament and in the Old Testament and in um, other books that aren't in the Bible, like Enoch, explained quite well in Enoch. Now, these are not beings that God created. That's why they their spirits aren't going to heaven. They're evil Always, the Nephilim were destroying the earth always uh, because of their parentage of fallen angels. And so when they were destroyed in the flood, they became the demons or evil spirits that surround the earth. This is all there. In, you know, if you know where to look and read the Bible and other places, it's all there. Um, but a lot of Christians don't know this. And, they, and because they're disembodied, they're always... Like Jesus said, they're in waterless places looking for someone to inhabit and to manifest. Like that poor man that was in the tomb, tombs. Remember, he came and he had a legion of them, a thousand of them. And he would continually cry out and scream and cut, ran around naked in the tombs and cut himself. And it was just a terrible sight. But when he saw Jesus, he came and fell at his feet. The man in being controlled and tormented came to Jesus but the words coming out of his mouth were coming from those devils. Why have you come here? Have you come to torment us before the time? You see, the Bible says that God has prepared hell like the uh, the lake of fire for the devil and his angels. Because the, these spirits are eternal. And the angels live forever. And, and the spirits of these, the offspring of these uh, fallen angels live forever. So what do you do with them on the judgment day to rid creation of these horrible things? God created a lake of fire, and you're going to throw them in. And, and, that, and that's what the demons were saying. Well, Jesus cast the devils out into pigs. The pigs couldn't handle it, and they run off and drown themselves. And Okay, so these things are malevolent, and they're operating everywhere. That's what's behind so much problems in our culture, so much evil, so much perversion, uh, so much corruption, so much filth, uh, addictions and hate. And, you know, it's, it's all like that. But where we have a place as believers, start praying. And you say, and when the Holy Spirit reveals things like this, you say, you go. I don't give you, you don't have permission to work here in my city, you devils. In my family, get out of my family in the name of Jesus. And where people are turning to God, they can be totally free because that's the freedom of Christ. You can be totally free from every malevolent spirit. And and, and like in, in case you think I'm talking about stuff that's crazy, that just shows you were raised in a secular education because cultures everywhere in the world, even our First Nations right here, understand about evil spirits. They know what it's about. 
What they haven't heard is Jesus defeated them at the cross. And he gives us authority to say, get out of my house. Get out of my body. Get out of my family. In the name of Jesus, you go. Get out of my city. Get out of my government. Get out of my business. Get out. You just, you just start dedicating stuff to the Lord, turning to the Lord. And when you submit to God and resist the devil, the Bible says he flees. Hey, man, there you go. A little lesson in spiritual warfare.